Hello and welcome back to TEW The Branding Solution. Tonight is the first episode of Monday Night Raw and we're going to start off with a couple of dark matches. We have Neville vs Xavier Woods followed closely by The Social Outcast vs American Alpha And we finished the show, or the pre-show, with the New Day versus the Shining Stars. An easy win for the New Day to keep up some momentum. We start Monday Night Raw with Triple H and Stephanie making their way to the ring, where Triple H isn't happy that Shane got involved in his title match, costing it him against Roman Reigns. Uh, Roman Reigns gets called to the ring, where he's going to have to have the night off. Well, Chris Jericho and Dean Ambrose have a number one contenders match tonight. We just get to see a little video of the New Day, which 75 is a very impressive rating. We put the certified G's in an easy match against the Ascension. Apparently it was terrible, but they came off looking good. Last week Dolph Ziggler was attacked by Samoa Joe, so this week he just gave an upcoming promo about his match against Joe later tonight. Jack Swagger finds himself being attacked or well, one on one with Heath Slater when the rest of the social network social outcasts get involved, costing Swagger the match. Post-match, we get to see Swagger getting beat down by all of them when Kurt Angle's music hits and he stands at the top of the ramp being flanked by American Alpha and they charge to the ring cleaning out the social outcasts helping Jack Swagger up. And hopefully these turns don't go terrible because for some reason they're classed as hills. The Usos get a nice win over the returning Crime Time. Crime Time are only really back to add to the tag teams. They're probably never going to get a good run. So when the Usos need a bit of momentum. The Miz is in the middle of the ring, playing how good he really is. And he wants his next challenger. And we get to see Kevin Owens wanting his rematch. Because that's what Kevin Owens always wants. And Sammy Jane wants another opportunity. But as always, the Miz gets away unharmed. Kevin Owens beats Sammy Jane with the six star frog splash. This will be leading up to some sort of IC title match involving one, maybe two, but all three. That will be happening at Vengeance. We can add this match in. Well, it's pretty weird. Pretty weird. A lot of match I think we should have. Because that's what these guys are good at. Let's see, we have the Miz, Kevin Owens, and Sammy Zayn. I know it's pretty much like in real life, but it's a match that needs to happen early on. Samoa Joe defeats Dolph Ziggler with a muscle buster. These two don't click, which is a bit surprising, but won't be much of a rivalry now. Chris Jericho gives a promo about how he has to face Dean Ambrose to be the number one contender when he should be the number one contender himself. Dean Ambrose actually defeats Chris Jericho with the Dirty Deeds in what was a very good match, 71. But post-match, Dean Ambrose offers a handshake and Chris Jericho accepts, but then cheap shot Dean Ambrose to end the show. Well, we get a 66. Not enough storylines, which we are building up to. Let's go back to the 
main screen. Okay, we are back and let's see what our emails say today. More development of people and of Sigler wants to be booked a bit more stronger. Okay, Bo Dallas. Another one who wants to be booked stronger. Lots of people who want to come up, but they're not going to come up because I'm happy with the rosters right now. And we gained some money on that one. So, the raw storylines 60 on that one, 42, 6, or 55, 43, and only 71. A bit disappointing. Now, that concludes this episode, and we will be back or smack down next time. I hope you enjoyed this and wait till you see what we have coming.